Silverfish. Bucket. Today we are going to be doing a shootout of two super badass fuzz pedals made by Stomp Underfoot. If you haven't heard of this company, they're amazing. I've been using their fuzz pedals now for years. I've had a couple renditions, I'll explain here in a little bit. Uh, Matt from Stomp Underfoot is awesome. He's excellent to work with. He just loves music, loves guitar playing, and loves making me happy. So thank you, Matt. Anyway. Right here, this red one, this is my new fuzz pedal, my new signature pedal. It's called the Bucket of Blood um, because it is tones from the song One by One, Every Day in a Bucket of Blood. That is the a lyric in the song. And then here on the left, this silver one, the Silverfish. This is Sean McVeigh from King Buffalo's signature pedal. Now, before I explain what each does and where each shines, I want to backtrack a little bit. So both of these fuzz pedals originated from this guy right here, La Scatolonera. This is an amazing pedal. Uh, Matt made this for me back in 2018. We were on tour with Primus and Mastodon, and he sent me my first one, actually, like while I was on the tour. The Big Muff side on this guy is just beautiful. If you guys have heard the Alabaster, imagine that with a little bit more mids and just kind of, a, kind of a more aggressive sound, in my opinion. And then, instead of the boost, like on the Alabaster, that extra gain boost switch, I wanted to have an Octavia, because obviously, Band of Gypsies, Hendrix. Um, I love that sound, and I always thought that it would work so well with all them witches. Obviously, it did. We wrote one by one with that Octavia sound, and it's just insane. One by one, this is the sound of one by one, this pedal. I did not use anything else on that song other than a Holy Grail reverb. Uh, it's the Octavia and then the Big Muff side of it. It's insane. So, shortly after that tour, uh, Matt from Stomp Underfoot, he sent me probably three or four of them, and King Buffalo was in town in Nashville, Tennessee when I was living there and they stayed at my house. I was like kind of showing Sean my new pedal, you know, just like super proud and just psyched to show one of my uh, fellow guitar players uh, a, a really cool pedal that I thought that he would dig. And he loved it so much and I actually gave him one. And shortly after that, King Buffalo wrote and recorded their album, Burden of Restlessness. If you haven't listened to that record, you should listen to it, it's insane. Anyway, it was obvious that Sean used the pedal that I had gave him, the Scatolinera, extensively on the record. I mean, there's Octavia up and down the record. Um, it's, it's big muff sounds. And I was honored, honestly, because I really look up to Sean, even though I would never tell him that. Um, I do. He's, he's an amazing guitar player. And the fact that he was using my signature pedal, I was, I was really psyched. And Matt from Stomp Underfoot was also really pumped. And I, I remember texting Matt, I was like, hey, you should, you should, you should work with this guy, he's, he's awesome. So that ended up being the Silverfish for Sean. It's a slightly different fuzz circuit than the Scatolinera. So after tons of touring with the Scatolinera, it was everything that I had imagined. The Octavia was awesome, but I wanted a couple tweaks. This knob right here, as you can see, that controls the amount of Octavia. And I was realizing that I was never using this knob. In fact, I would have it on full blast because I just wanted it to be the, the full octave effect. It's, it's an octave up, by the way, not like a low doom octave. And I was never using this knob. And in fact, sometimes my, my guitar cable or my foot would like hit it a little bit and it would dial it back and the effect wasn't as intense. So after touring, I talked with Matt my band was playing a show in Orlando, and I got to talk to him after the show, and I was like, hey, what if we ditched the knob for the Octavia and it was just full blast the whole time? 
And then we added a mids knob, which was awesome. You can scoop the mids, you can boost the mids. And with all them witches, we have a lot going on in our mix. You know, Robbie is just caveman drums. Parks' bass is basically like a guitar. And then you have Allen, which is just more mid-range. So for me, I wanted to cut through more. I wanted to have an option to boost mids and like kind of rise above everyone else sonically. Not like louder, but just like find my own place in our mix live. So hence, that is now we have the mids knob right there. So going back to the Silverfish, it's kind of the same idea. Octavia knob is gone. So it's level and tone and then mids and then gain. Same with this level, tone, mids, gain. And so Sean went ahead and had the mids knob added and the Octavia done as well. All right, so enough talking for a little bit. I'm gonna play a little bit of both pedals back and forth and then I'll kind of explain the differences in sound. Let's start with my pedal. This is the bucket of blood. All the knobs are gonna be on noon, just to be fair, starting out. Right now the silverfish. Back to the bucket. Alright, so upon first listen with all the knobs at noon. Sean's sounds a little bit louder. What the heck, Matt? Anyway, uh, but that's okay. I will just even it out. We have a knob for volume, so that's cool. Silverfish. Okay, another thing that I'm hearing, mine, the red one, Bucket of Blood, definitely has more mids to it. That's not a bad thing. In fact, I actually prefer that. Sean's in a three-piece, so he doesn't really need as much mids. Mine also seems a little bit more aggressive. Harsh is probably not, not the right word to describe it, but it, it definitely has uh, a little bit more going on in the upper mid-range from what I'm hearing. So now let's just stick on the Bucket of Blood and I'm gonna just kind of play around with these knobs, actually about how I set it live. So yeah, level about noon, and then I'm gonna put the tone back a little bit. No, 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 I'm gonna put the tone noon and then back the mids off just a hair. back to noon, maybe a little bit less, and then I'm going to play with this uh, tone knob. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's a pissed off fuzz pedal. That sounds awesome. I love it. It's killer and red's my favorite color. So that is uh that's a great pedal. Let's move on to the silverfish now. Oh, that is warm. That's nice. I'm going to play with this uh with the uh, mids knob first like I did on the bucket. Let's crank the mids on the bucket and compare the mids. Silverfish. So what I'm hearing is Sean's silverfish pedal. The mids are a lot smoother. They're not as harsh. They're not as like bitey. And for Sean, I think that that's perfect. He always kind of goes for a more violin uh, lead sound and you know a nice soupy muffy sound um, I really like that that's cool let's play let's go back to the silverfish and then play around with the uh, with the tone knob <laughs> Turn the tone on the bucket just to compare, see how that sounds. They sound really similar. Actually, on the Silverfish, when you turn the tone down, it kind of sounds like it has more gain, which is pretty cool. All right, let's turn the, let's scoop the mids a little on Sean's and uh, turn the tone up. That was the mids and the tone cranked. That was intense. Let's go, uh, let's compare the amount of gain. We'll go uh, full gain on both pedals, both knobs at noon, level on noon. We'll see which one has more gain. We'll start with mine. Okay, I think Sean's overall. Well, actually, hold on. Let's 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 go to the least amount of gain, and then I'll say what I was gonna say. Here's mine. Sean's.
So the silverfish, I think it retains clarity when you have the gain all the way down. Mine retains the mids. It, it like keeps it more aggressive than the silverfish whenever you have the gain all the way down. But I've never had the gain all the way down. Why would you ever have the gain all the way down? I like it at about one o'clock. So let's go back and let's compare. Again, both knobs at noon, because I have bad memory. Here we go. Silverfish. You may be thinking, what about the Octavia? Well, we are gonna dial that in. So with the Octavia, they're both the exact same. So I'll just play, uh, I'll just play the, the A Bucket of Blood. Um, what I recommend doing with any Octavia circuit is be on the neck pickup. And then uh, I like the volume full blast. I know Sean experiments with his volume knob Anyway, let's let's hear what this sounds like. So again, this is a fixed Octavia. It, there's no knob for it. So there's no sound. It's because it almost acts like a gate. So that is like one of my favorite sounds. I love that. The fact that I get to have that in a pedal and use it every show is awesome. So Octavia, think Band of Gypsies. <laughs> It almost adds like a, a ring mod sound. And there's also lots of weird overtones. You can hear it, especially on that King Buffalo song. And just to prove that the Octavia on the Silverfish is the same. Shit. Now, what does it sound like with the fuzz circuits? We gotta hear that. Jesus. All right. Silverfish. Both on. So going back to which one is going to work for you, I just had an idea. 
Why not get both?